Well, after a goalless first meeting, we had a fight to the finish at Molyneux tonight, and that's exactly what transpired. Wolves at home expected to make the early running, and this was uh, Stuart Robson, some good play by Hamill down their right-hand side. Excellent play from Hamill, gets away from the challenge of Gomez and sends a brilliant cross into the box. It was one of the midfield players much that was back in there trying to defend. Ebanks Blake, who I thought was a threat throughout the first half, just can't get it on target. But Hamill was the player that provided the opportunity. Well, still this uh, rivalry looking for a goal to uh, open the tie up, and Adam Rooney really should have got it here. Well, it was a poor bit of play from Berra to start with. He got underneath the ball, he allowed Rooney to get in behind him. And I think two people do well here. Ella Kobe does well to get back, and Howard Webb does well not to give a penalty. I think Elikoi just about got enough on the ball, but it was slow play from Rooney. Here's the right foot coming in. There it is, and he just touches the ball. Well, Chris Hutton annoyed with his striker for missing, and Adam Rooney was uh, right in the mix at this free kick as well from Jordan Much, who put uh, a lot of good balls forward from midfield, the youngster. Curtis Davis, I think, would have claimed the goal had it gone in. Both of them made good runs. The Wolves didn't defend it particularly well. De Vries is the one that makes a stop in the end, but it's a brilliant ball into the box. And it would have been a nightmare for the commentators as to who both players reacted equally that the, uh, the save was made. Rooney and uh, Davis Rooney involved in the build-up here, and this is Jonathan Spector on the charge. Well, you know, didn't expect him to get a strike in from there. I expected him just to whip the ball in the danger area. But as they switch the play out to him, Elikobi, the left back, tries to get out there. But what a strike it is from Jonathan Spector. This is uh, Stephen Hunt in the second half. And uh, Spector is the player that uh, the assistant didn't keep an eye on, Stuart. No, he certainly didn't. It's a good play from Ebanks Blake, although I thought he should have kept it in the danger area. Miliash coming round the back, given offside, but look at the position when we see the replay of Jonathan Spector, the assistant referee. Forgot all about him, he'd just got off the field. I thought, this is where Ebanks makes you keep it in the danger, it goes out the danger area. Well, I'm not even sure it's offside with the, the other, other three players. players. Yeah. But there you see, right at the bottom of the picture, Jonathan Spector was keeping them onside by about 10 yards. The end it does come to Jonsson who was making his Molyneux debut and a great strike on the half volley, brilliant strike. But once again, as we saw all night, Doyle is a very good goalkeeper, very calm goalkeeper and a good save from him. He sensed as the evening wore on that Birmingham were uh, getting uh, extra belief and uh, Kobe had plenty of belief in himself there. <laughs> to somehow tidy this up. Yeah, it comes Ooh. off his toe rather than the inside of his foot. Could have gone straight in. But from the resulting corner, mm. this is what happened. Much took it. Murphy challenged for it. Elliot hit the post and then it rolled Elliot's way again and on the ground. In the end, he knocked Wolverhampton Wanderers out. Well, he wasn't involved too much in the first half in the role behind the main striker. Probably should have scored there. But when your luck's in, the ball comes back to him on the ground. He swings his right leg at it. There's nobody on the post. You see Hunt tries to step up for offside after he's played the goal. But that was the game, the goal that won the game. And certainly, uh, Birmingham had, had never been outclassed, had never been outfought, really. And Chris Burke came on, good substitution by Chris Hutton, and Bosajur very nearly wrapping it up with another well uh, constructed attack. Yeah, I like Bosajur out on that left hand side. He had a good understanding with Murphy, apart from when they clashed heads, but it's a good save from De Vries with his left hand, just putting it over the bar. And as you'd expect, Wolves tried to throw the kitchen sink at Birmingham in the closing minutes. And Banks Blake. And then that uh, ricochet. First save by Doyle, second save by Doyle. And really significant. Elliot might have won it, 
but Doyle protected it. Look at this save from Doyle. It's his left, his right hand that just goes up and gets the touch on it. That's in. This is brave. No question about that, but you expect him to save it. But this one was brilliant. Re readjust his position. And a save with his fingertips.